It's freaking cold today, bro. Gotta wear a freaking sweater inside my own house, man. Freaking bullshit, bro. Yo, what's up, guys? So today is just one of those days where I'm literally just... I guess I'm suffering from beat block or something, but I haven't really been able to come up with like a good drop or like a good track and all stuff after I've released my uh, latest single and stuff. Normally when I'm lacking inspiration, what I'll go do in the studio instead and everything is basically just go ahead and sound design some stuff or even uh, trying to make some good midis and all that stuff that I can use later on and stuff. Or just basically try out anything and all that stuff, anything that gets the inspiration going and stuff. But for today and all that stuff, I figured I'd just go into the studio and just make some new uh, custom wavetables and all that stuff using face plant. So heck yeah, let's get into the studio, shall we? Alright, so here we are in FL Studio 21. Go ahead and load up a face plant right here. And for this, we're gonna go ahead and use just the default wavetable right here, but we're gonna go inside of here where the edit tab is, and we're gonna go over to file, new, so that way it's a completely empty wavetable. And I'm thinking about uh, going through some of my old sample packs that I don't use often anymore, and basically taking some of the samples and throwing them into the wavetable editor and see what kind of cool wavetables we can make out of it. Yeah, how about we, yeah, let's go for this uh, glitch pack that I got from Black Lotus Audio. Alright, that sounds like a good one. We'll, we'll go that one. Alright, and then for this one, we'll go to the face alignment correlate. Already sounded pretty gritty. So we're gonna go ahead and move that to the side. Grab an LFO right here, put it the sync, go for about two, four, make it go to a ramp up, and put this on the frames. Go. And one really cool thing about uh, Face Plants Wavetable Editor is the simple fact that all this is uh, 256 frames, but what I can do is I can actually shrink this. So that way it can only affect like only like let's just say the first like 80 frames. Uh, let's make that like 90 frames. Alright cool so we got that. Hit done. And then what we can do there is grab another one. Alright grab that one. Go ahead and take these uh, ones up here and make it to where it goes right into the sound. Oh, and it's actually uh, pitched down pretty bad and everything, so what we're going to have to do is go up here to the root pitch and mess around with it until it actually uh, sounds like the original sound. So I'd say let's go for about... Right, let's go for like a D, like a D0. Alright, cool. And then we can take those frames and add it to this last one. Alright, cool. So we'll hit done on that. And just to make sure that this uh, flows better, we're gonna go into the effects, hit frame blend. We'll go just to that one little spot. Alright, cool. So that kind of flows good. So now that we got that, uh, we're gonna drag one more in here. Cool. Grab that one and we'll put that towards the end right here. And we'll put the frames up a little bit so that we can get that last spot. See, that one's a, that one's a little bit down, so we're gonna have to turn that down a little bit. So, uh, I think it's around like E0 and stuff, so we'll go for like E0. Oh, matter of fact, it's actually, I think it's like D1 actually. So we'll go for D1. There we go. Now that sounds good. That sounds good. So now go get a uh, frame blend once again. Uh, attach it to just that one area right there. Pretty good. Mix it in. Cool. We got all that. Now we're going to do some fixes on this. We're going to go to uh, remove DC. We're going to go to align fundamentals, align frames, uh, normalize RMS, normalize the global peaks, and normalize the frame peaks. And just like that, we pretty much got a pretty beefy wavetable just like that. All right, but we can actually take this a little bit further and stuff. So what we're gonna do next is go grab the first frame, first frame right here. And what we're gonna do is cra craft a, uh, a little filter right here. Extend it out to about all 256 frames. And starting from the first one, we're gonna go create a high pass in here, or low cutter, I should say. We're gonna make the slope about right around there. And we're just gonna cut off that that 
little fundamental and also basically like removing the fundamental of the entire sound and then put this on the last bit right here as well so put the slope like that and then move the fundamental right around there cool <laughs> Alright, so now that we got all that, we freaking hit done. Go inside of here. This will uh, put a whole sine wave inside of here. And what we'll do is we'll actually drag this for the entire entirety of the 256 frames. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this mix right here. And we're going to turn it down. We're just going to blend it in with already the existing sound. All right, we'll also get this for the beginning part as well. So basically what this is doing is actually adding its own clean sub and everything inside of the wavetable already. So I say right around 35% is good, is good. So make sure it's good enough for that one as well. So put that to like 35%. And then we'll go ahead and hit done. And we got a pretty complex wavetable just like that. All right, and one extra thing we can do is we can actually add some distortion on here so that way we can uh, kind of boost up the signal a little bit. Not too much though, just a little bit. And also up here you can uh, choose like which uh, distortion uh, type you really want. Right, I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with overdrive and everything and then one last thing we can do is uh hit squareify sometimes squareify works uh with making it a little bit more robotic but sometimes it does get in the way and everything so most times I don't really squareify it but sometimes it does work all right so in this case I think squarefying actually does kind of even it out a little bit but then again, we also uh, miss that grittiness and all stuff that comes from the wavetable as well. So I think uh, we'll stick with this for now. We'll stick with this uh, wavetable for now before we save it and everything. We'll just uh, give it a test run and stuff. So, all right, so as a test run, we're going to go ahead and add another LFO. We're going we're gonna to turn the gain down. Put this to sync. Put to 1-4. Put that on the gain. Alright, so yeah, that does actually sound a little bit too aggressive. So yeah, we'll probably end up putting the uh, square file on there. Alright, cool. That actually that actually does help it out a little bit. So now we can start uh, creating a sound with this and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, grab three snap keys. We're gonna have one right here and two on lane three. In lane one, we're gonna have felt the filters on here, which is like my go-to snap heap uh, preset. We're gonna put this LFO onto the uh, high notch low pass. <laughs> then we'll put a filter over here on the lane three and also because there's that one harsh resonance we need to get rid of. <laughs> then we're gonna add a power rack on here. <laughs> and then we'll add felt the sound for the last one. <laughs> That's so cool, we already got like a good, uh, good post processing going. So let's add a um, little bit of a little bit of modulation on here. So how about a uh, bin soft? Put that on the phase. Ooh, all right. All right. Let's put a uh, analog on here and probably uh, FM that. A little slight FMing on there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add like let's just say um, how about this person on there. Put the uh, alpha on there. All right, go ahead and grab a filter on here and put that to a, a high pass filter and put a frequency shifter on here and put that up. All right, then we'll go ahead and add a uh, convolver on here, which is my favorite. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, cool. And then we can go inside this LFO and uh, switch around it a little bit. Then we can create another LFO, put that to sync, make this go for like a full bar, and put this onto the rate over here. Make it go to about 16. Alright, we can go inside of this one, do some steppers on there. <laughs> it's just so cool, man. <laughs> uh, last little measure and everything, we're gonna put a filter in this and all that stuff. Go ahead and grab here, grab filter inside of here. Put that up top there, put that to a high pass. So that way it only affects that. And then we'll go ahead and grab this other analog over here. Make that a sine wave. Add the LFO to the gain. 
but that's a lane 3. That way it has its own clean sub in it. And from there on, it's all about just freaking messing around with the with the bending and the FM and all stuff just to create uh, different sounds. And also mess around with the frames as well and everything so that way you can uh, change it over time and everything. And one good thing to do that is uh, put it on a macro. So let's get like macro 2 here, put that onto the frames and everything. And now you can just modulate it up here. And if you want to control the uh, LFO yourself and everything, you can just turn off this LFO right here and put uh, this macro onto the uh, speed over here, make it go up to at least like 16. And now you're free range to do it on here. All right, so let's mess around with the bending a little bit. Mmm. Try try a different uh different convolving sound out. That's pretty dope, bro. <laughs> All lasery and stuff, bro. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Okay! Okay! Alright, we'll also put this uh, LFO on the phasing thing right here, which is what this is. This little gold uh, star right here. This will alternate the phases and all stuff as we, uh, as the LFO goes. Yo, man. Th this is actually not that bad, bro. Um, so... I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna save this and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, go to this wavetable uh, editor right here, hit save, go to my little wavetables and stuff. I'll go, I'll probably call it like uh, WT different three. Oh, and also before you freaking save, make sure if you're gonna use faceplant to do this in this file type right here, make sure when it first comes out it says flak and everything. So make sure you put it to wave and all stuff, so that way you'll be able to use it. In you know like serum or vital or any other uh, VST where you could use custom wavetables in and all that stuff. So be sure to freaking put it on wave instead of flak. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna have some trouble and stuff. But yeah, that's how you would pretty much go about uh, making some custom wavetables and all that stuff inside a phase plant, man. This honestly is like literally one of the best synthesizers I ever bought myself and everything. I'm normally one that likes to use serum and vital because they're just you know they're just that easy to work with and stuff. But the more I keep messing around with Faceplant, the more that just the sheer customization of it and just the simple fact that the entire Kilohertz ecosystem is just that good and everything for sound designing and stuff, I'm just falling in love with it every freaking day I do it, man.